what up what up what up this is mike the philosopher along with kamal aristo and we also have sean b in the house and today's topic is about a miami model well instagram model not a i don't want to say real model because you know model come in different ways and shapes and forms and all of that but she was an instagram model who uh, actually stabbed her boyfriend to death um and for whatever reason <laughs> uh it's, it's just been a tragic story let me get to the story uh the family of the slain uh miami 27 year old christian uh tubachuka uh toby as they call him is demanding justice and claiming police had declined to change his Instagram model uh, girlfriend, Courtney uh, Clenny, because of privilege. So they haven't even really charged her because they're claiming that this, this woman got privilege. How do you, how do you stab a dude a number of times, blatantly pretty much take them out and then not charge the woman? Anytime, anytime it's like, it seems like it's white on black, they are slow to react with charges. I've seen this happen with another young lady named Lauren who was, uh, and I did a show on this, uh, a young lady named Lauren who was seeing this white guy and he, they were slow to charge him too. So this is becoming a trend that is um, getting very, uh, frustrating to say the least um, her attorney meanwhile doubled down on this self defense argument and and told uh, Fox News Digital Money that justice in this case demands that Courtney does not face any charges uh, before I go any further what do y'all think about this man they saying that she should uh, the, the attorney is claiming she should not face any charges um claiming self-defense what do y'all take sean ski what do y'all take what is your take ski well it sounds like self-defense i mean it's a lot of weirdos out here that they, be stalking through them pages well this is his this is his girlfriend though um and i'm not sure where she's getting the self-defense claim from but she just really just took him out it wasn't no uh situation where it was him he was beating her or anything like that if, no. if i believe if i believe i know the story correctly or if i've heard the details correctly it was a girl and a guy were dating and, and they from what i heard originally had a disagreement and during said disagreement old girl pulled a knife and stabbed her dude to death. Um, that's, for one, a very unfortunate incident for anybody to like to something like that. But, uh, but, you know, regardless of color, you know. Oh, but right. at the end of the day, at the, the end of the day, um, from what I heard, she originally was claiming temporary insanity. And, and similar to what you said, um, because she claimed that, like you said, she wasn't charged. And there was videos that surfaced of her recently actually going out to a bar. And she had a whole nother uh, guy with her. I don't know if this was a relative or, you know, people were speculating that maybe they were dating. Because I, I want to say in the video they were holding hands. So it's... It's, it's a really interesting story. Like, this, this this girl stabbed the guy to death. They don't arrest her or hold her on anything because she says she was temporary, temporarily insane. Yeah, and she even got she on... Spotted at a bar. She even got on Instagram and talked about her how wet her stuff was the next day.
Like, I mean, taking pictures, doing the peace sign, talking about, you know, how, how wet she is or whatever. And I mean, I honestly, she was acting psycho. She was acting like she was, she didn't have all her marbles. Also, in this case, she the weirdo. Yeah. Yeah, she the weirdo. That's what so it is. Now I'm getting the point. Me. Let's get to the point. So she, she, she was dating. Uh, uh, now this guy was a Nigerian. You know, it was a brother. He, I, I believe he was Nigerian. Um, I, I don't think he was like African American. I think he was Nigerian. Now, not for nothing. Uh, <laughs> she, she's not a bad looking chick. Uh, you know, you know she is an Instagram model. So there's that part. But, you know, and here, here's, a, here's a twist to it. This guy, this uh, black guy, he kind of put it in the face of sisters. Like, oh, I'm going a, I'm to a ride out with my snow bunny, this, that, and the third. All y'all, you know, black chicks ain't got nothing for me. Uh, I'm riding with my, you know, Caucasian queen. You know what I mean? And that got a lot of sisters hot under the collar. You know what I mean? So now the sisters on Twitter ain't don't ain't even really checking for this because they still mad at him for kind of mocking them. So the sisters is like, oh, you know, that's what you get. This, that, and the third. Now you now you gone. Now you this, that, and the third. And it's like. What is this world coming to? First of all, she should have gotten charged. I don't care if she want to claim insanity or whatever or not. Um, or at least held until they figured out the real details of yeah, what happened. Yeah, if it, it was vice versa, he would have been held at least. He, yeah, oh, exactly. He would have been held and the charges would have been, and then they would have figured out the whole insanity crap later. But he would have been charged and he would have been held. And, you know, so that there's a hypocrisy in the system due to that alone is because um, they're not holding this chick accountable. And, and like I said, they didn't hold the other white guy accountable when when the, the, the sister came up uh, deceased. So this is a is a very annoying, very frustrating uh, trend that's going on and um, I, I see more protests if this don't correct itself and you know who knows what's going to happen but um, so so, what, what are y'all thoughts about um, this guy kind of throwing it in sister's face that he's with this chick I feel like everybody got their own perspective I mean, I don't agree with his perspective. Uh, I mean, honestly, I haven't seen this guy's Twitter account to, to, to tell you specifically what I take on, you know, his, his thoughts and the way that he conducted himself. I couldn't tell you that. Right. But what I can tell you is that regardless of how he conducted himself, when you get murdered like that, there should definitely be someone held and being questioned, period. They right. let this girl walk around, go to a bar, pick up another boyfriend, post on her, her social media. You know, this is kind of like the same situation with uh, uh, so many people. You know, I ain't even going to go into nobody specific. I was thinking of Ma Arbery, if, if I'm thinking correctly. The guy who was jogging through the neighborhood and basically got chased down with the two cars and they... Yeah, yeah. Caught yeah, up. yeah, yeah. That kind of like that story, you know. It's like it's they let these people just walk away because they said this is what happened. But when you really get down to it, it'd be like, oh, there's a connection there. He knows him, she knows them, and they like her. So, boom, you can walk free, or at least buy you some time. But you know, they they take that little time for granted because people who care really gonna get to the bottom of it. Right. Hey, Ski, what do you think? Um, do you think that... Um, I'm going to be right back. All right. Uh, Ski, do you think that it's... Uh, do you think it's um, he got what he asked for or do you think it's super petty 
for uh, sisters to mock his death. I mean, what, what, what do you think as far as how the sisters responded? How, how are they mocking his death? Well, because they're saying that's what you get for being, you know, putting putting her in our face like that. Uh, so, so you're, so you you being dead, that's what you deserve. Well, I mean, you know, that's 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 the that's the social world, though. That's what goes on, just like you know, with um Britney Spears and them, you know, that's what goes on in that world, you know. Twitter. Yeah, they can ban you or they can make you famous. You, know? you saying you saying that's ca- cancel culture or what? I mean, that's the, the, that's what they do. If you put it out there, that's you know you have to expect that. A lot of the people, the the big celebs like um, Doja Cat and Grace Bunge or and Britney Spears and all of them is you know they 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 having different feelings about you know the social media now because it. And, you know, they emotional. You know, one thing, you know, mm-hmm. you know, so you gotta understand that. And then, you know, this, you know, this man coming out. Why are you all excited? You know, what I'm saying doing that. You know, when you're supposed to be with, you know, with your own anyway. You know, so that's an abomination. The, the, you know, the jump from a tribe to another tribe, and then, you know, then get all happy about it and talk about it to, you know, to the whole world. You know, then, and then put his own tribe down. Yeah, dig that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it said that uh she was found uh what it says, um uh Clenny, an Instagram uh OnlyFans model, uh she was caught on camera covered in blood in her luxury high rise balcony after the incident, but was n- but has not been charged. I mean she's been caught on camera. In a in in a bloody soaked t shirt after she murdered this dude. No charges. I mean, no yeah. charges. Yeah. I don't I'm not getting this. I mean at the very least, he would have to she would have to prove that it was self-defense in a in a court of law you would think you got to prove it was self-defense you can't just say oh well she's white he's black it was automatically self-defense we ain't charging nothing you can't do that i mean it's not it's not especially since she was caught on camera doing the act and with her t- bloody t-shirt on what what are your thoughts to that, man? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm just going. I can just think about you know. I just know what it is actually, you know. And what's that? What's that? Um, remember the Lords of the Underground? The what now? Lords of the Underground. Yeah, Lords of the Lords of the Underground. They had a singer. What was it? Um, Lords of the Underground. I I don't know. I can't think of it. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, it just reminds me of something like that. Yeah, put it up for you. I mean, because she's a. D- let me ask you this: Do you think that she's? Well, I ain't gonna ask you that. It's pretty obvious. She's getting special treatment. Um, do you think they're gonna ever charge her, or she's just gonna walk? Or they just they just holding back until they get more evidence. I mean, I yeah, you know how the the, the system works. You know, those that are not guilty, you know, and they end up doing a lot of time. You know, those that, that are guilty, you know, she might go when she's ninety. <laughs> oh, you are you yeah you responsible for you know. We ain't seen that one before, so who knows? Yeah, yeah. It's saying Courtney is being treated differently because of her privilege as a wealthy white woman. Uh, you know, Jeffrey wrote on Instagram, within 24 hours following uh, Toby's death, the detective in the case 
uh, prematurely concluded this was not a crime of violence. Now, the detective said this is not a crime of violence. Are you are you kidding me? All he seen was her with a knife and blood all over her body. And it's not a crime of violence. Reverse the roles. You see a brother with a knife in his hand, blood all over his body, and she's dead. It's not a crime of violence. Would you say the same thing? Would you say the same thing? Absolutely freaking not. You would not say the same thing. So to say that this is not privilege is ridiculous. Uh, she was not arrested because it is clear that it was uh, she was defending herself and was the victim of domestic abuse, her attorney said, Frank uh, Prado told Fox. As a former prosecutor with the Miami uh, State Attorney's Office, the fact that she has not been arrested or charged is indi indicative that the investigation has concluded she acted in self-defense. How, how, how can they prove that she acted in self-defense? Why? Because he's a big, strong black man and she's a, uh, a, a, a white woman? Like they, like, they knew each other. It wasn't like he tried to rob her, beat her over the head and tried to rob her. They knew each other. They was in a relationship. They were intimate. So how can you automatically assume it was uh, defensive when he wasn't trying to rob her or something? When they were a couple. He said uh, his client was cooperative with investigators. Uh, Miss Om Obum she she Slee. I, I, it's hard to see through these glasses, y'all. Sorry. Was mentally, emotionally, and physically abused with Courtney. Uh, this is this is this, they saying that the guy was mentally, emotionally, and physically abused was abused by her. Uh, I believe uh, they told Fox News uh, that tragic that tragic right or that tragic night there was a physical altercation and Courtney had no choice but to defend herself. Uh, we understand the families want justice, but justice in this case demands that Courtney does not face any charges. How is that justice that she does not face any charges? Where that's is the what justice? Family is saying? Well, no, that's what that's what uh, her attorney is saying. Uh, justice would be want for her to not get charged. Yeah, well, yeah, her attorney is saying justice would be that Courtney does not face any charges. He also added that this is not a case about white or wealthy privilege. This is a case about self defense by a victim of domestic violence. Uh, Jeffrey did not respond to uh, multiple Fox News requests in the comment. Neither did the attorney's uh, representative and of his family. Um, let's 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 cut the BS. Okay, this is privilege. Plain, know, simple. What'd you say, Ski? We just gave it all the evidence. You know, it, it, like I said, that's that was Lawrence and Underground evidence right there. Yeah. yeah. Now, now I don't, not for nothing. I don't expect her attorney to say anything uh, less than what he said. You know, what I mean, I expect him to say uh, this is a clear case of self-defense and she shouldn't be charged. That would be justice. I expect him to say that BS. What I don't like is the detective walking in saying this is a clear case of self-defense because it's not it's not up to him to decide that he has to when he see a scene like that he definitely somebody gotta go away and handcuffs <laughs> exactly you to any exactly scene and see somebody with a 
bloody night, you know, blood everywhere. It's like, yeah, you got to come with me. Let's talk about this. Yeah. But for whatever reason, that detective decided, uh, nah, we don't, we don't need to talk about it. Exactly. We'll see you later, maybe. Right, right. And that's that that's that double standard, that BS that we're talking about when it comes to uh, fair treatment and justice in this country. Uh, clear case, because I could tell you right now, if the roles were reversed and that guy, even if he was defending himself, he would be guilty. He would he would he would be charged 100 percent, a thousand percent. He would be in handcuffs a thousand percent. The detective would not say, oh, this clear cut defense of him. See, yeah, 100%. That's what we know 100%, 1000% what would happen to the Negro. But we don't know 1000%, 100% what that was. It sounds like I said, the evidence is Lewis and Underground. It sounds like a ritual. It sounds like something that was supposed to be done, you know, and I don't know what org she from, but yeah, that's how they get down. And I know that a psycho chick, a psycho, we had one here, right here in Wisconsin. She cut up all the body parts when she was having sex with this man. After she was done with that man, she cut up all his body, all his body parts. His mama found this thing in the bucket when she went to go wash, dig that. Now that's a psycho. Mm, yeah, that's, that's horrific what you described right there. Um, was she was she charged right away? Oh yeah, they got her. You can go. I'm surprised I didn't hit news break. You know, yeah, this is right here. You know. Yeah, I, I think I did see something about that. As a matter of fact, I did see something about that. Yeah, and she told she was like, yeah, she he made me mad or something. She said, you know, she sexed him then killed him. I, I hope y'all have fun finding his body parts. That's what she said. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> Wow. wow. Oh yeah, I recall I recall that story. That yeah, that happened. So this one right here, whatever she did, yeah. Then she get on Instagram with the blood all on her shirt. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. See me now, you know. He all on, you know, he all happy with it, talking about her, you know. <laughs> yeah. Fool. Yeah. Yeah. And the and the and the messed up part too, I mean, all of that is messed up. But then the community, especially the females, turn on them, say they don't care. Cause yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, 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 he, he, he was he was fooled. He was tricked. It's a game. Go on there and tell him you with your Caucasian queen today. Put that all on his head. She probably the one I had his account. Let me pipe this in there. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. Well, hopefully she will get charged and justice will prevail. However, uh, attractive, rich, white women, um, let, I'll put it this way. Let's just see if justice prevails. I'm not going to make no uh, opinion about it. Let's just see if justice prevails. We'll, we'll see. Um, and you got to think that if they think that she's psycho, which she is kind of showing signs of being psycho because like you said sean she she ended up with another boyfriend at the bar or she um you know she making instagram posts still she's she's you know talking about how wet she is i mean this is the day after the murder she's talking about how wet she is and almost trying to recruit other men I mean, right. if she's psycho, you can't really say it was self-defense, right? Because a psycho person is going to do psycho stuff. So how are you going to go and just claim, oh, this was self-defense when you don't even know all of the details about her, her mentality, what she was thinking, how she, what she was going through, the, the history of the... Uh, the relationship i mean you know he was bragging on her so i'm i'm i tend to think that he was treating her well because he loved his caucasian queen so 
who knows the real reason why she did that, but them to jump to that conclusion is is ridiculous. You got some last words, Sean or Ski? Oh, man. Similar to what y'all said, it sounds like it was just deeper than rap on this story. Um, when you talk about justice or her getting locked away, I mean, I'm just placing my bet on this right now. I bet she goes to a mental institution for some time, but then she will be out sooner than later to enjoy the rest of her life. Uh, like that. I, I agree. I to, like she gone get no murder charge or nothing. I, they spend this. Yeah, they, they are. And I, I agree with you, Sean. Let me say this. I'm ashamed of the woman who committed the crime. I'm ashamed of the brother for bragging on having her. I'm ashamed of the detective who went in there and claimed his self-defense. I'm ashamed of the attorney for blatantly saying that justice is her not getting charged. I'm ashamed of the sisters who can, who applauded this tragedy. I'm ashamed of so many people in this situation is pathetic. It, it shows the rotten rottenness of our society and we need to do better as human beings. With that being said, hit the like, share and subscribe and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.